Hey guys, we're going to be talking about the not-so-secret surprise that's on Pokemon Unite's public test realm. Maridon. Uh, there's also another Pokemon that we'll be uh, talking about within a, a few days or so. This video is from El Chico EV, mainly because this is just one of our awesome resource centers for the Pokemon Unite community. EV does a lot of good work. Uh, we just got to see the information about the first true skills, Thunder Shock and Thunder Wave. So I'm going to double back here. Yeah, it has the user send a jolt of electricity in a designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it is. So what, what does T-Wave actually do? So... Has the user discharge electricity at a designated opposing Pokemon dealing damage, leaving them paralyzed? We did need more CC, especially on the special attacking side. So this is a very good sign. Miraidon seems relatively bulky. Well, like, not super bulky. It's going to be scaled to be kind of on par with Zacian and the Mewtwo's does kind of have me feel a little hopeful about Coridon being added, but this is likely our Pokemon Day surprise. So, Electro Drift or Charge Beam. Okay, kind of flexing Charge Beam a little bit. In order to kind of demonstrate what it does, more or less. I'm going to be jumping from movesets now since we've seen the opener. I'm just waiting until Eevee kind of describes or posts the infographic for what Charge Beam actually does. It seems to be a good way to uh, poke at enemies while dealing uh, very good damage. Or what I'm assuming is very good damage because... For PTR, everything's going to end up changing before the official release. And the bar underneath of uh, Maridon Dutch Charge, and you uh, kind of have a discharge zone. So I guess this is similar to the ability that Maridon has in Scarlet and Violet, which is to set the electric terrain. It seems like it did temporarily stop healing and maybe slow them. You got Thunder and you got Parabolic Charge. Wait. We're, we're gonna read Thunder because we didn't read Charge Beam, but it might not matter. Has the user summon a cloud in the sky above that drops Thunderbolts. The summoned cloud moves slowly towards the nearest opposing Pokemon dropping Thunderbolts wherever a set amount of time passes. Thunderbolts deal damage apply a slow. So you got a nice utility here with Thunder where you can kind of apply slow and it's like a tracking vortex. Where you're kind of able to have it track the positioning of an enemy. I guess this isn't just going to be a good slow tool, but a good displacement tool. Especially if you're on lane with somebody you trust. You can use it to kind of cause the opposing team to kind of be put into a scenario where they have to fully reposition. And I think that's valuable to have. So we've seen moveset one. We're going to jump ahead here. Uh, I'll cut it out, maybe. But this is the Unite move. It looks pretty good. Man, I was not expecting to get a commercial on El Chico's video, or Eevee's video. But yeah, on to actually seeing moveset two. I said on to actually see a moveset to you. I'm trying to see if the the infographic for okay, looks like the one for Electro Drift does not come up. 
But Electro Drift seems to be like Charge Beam, where you have multiple uh, charges. I didn't want to say charges, but multiple uh, Electro Drifts in stock. And it seems like you can reset the cooldown on it to kind of dive in a little bit. Parabolic Charge seems to be very useful. Has the user flood the area around it with electricity, dealing damage and applying a slow effect. To opposing Pokemon it hits. If this move hits opposing Pokemon, the user's HP, well, user recovers HP, and also recovers one stored use of Charge Beam or Electro Drift. The more opposing Pokemon the move hits, the more HP recovered. I think this is a good thing that it has a little bit of lifesteal or vampirism, whatever you want to call it. I Okay, now we get Electro Drift. So it's like a Charger Dash. Yeah, it seems like this moveset's actually fairly good. It seems like Maridon is going to be a very big threat. Especially with some of the emblem sets I've been seeing. Yeah, some of the special attacking sets seem a little bit strong. Like the amount of stats you can get on your emblem set now is very strong, so I don't know what they'll plan to do. I, I know the legendaries are gonna likely all be locked out of ranked, but it's something to think about for the future. That did a hefty amount of damage. And the Unite moves back. It looks like it's similar to Mewtwo's, but you can kind of direct it a little bit more, which is good. And until it comes out, I don't know where I'd place it on tier list, but it looks very good. It looks like it would be fun to play. Uh, scoring animation is what we would think that it would be. The only thing I'm personally going to guess right now is maybe... The next battle pass will be based around Maridon, where Maridon will get a Hollowware in it. I know that we currently have the Gardevoir in Snorlax one, but I guess Maridon could sneak in with a special Hollowware at some point. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye.